State Seminoles, the preeminent team in college football for the last half decade. The Miami Hurricanes dominated college ball for 10 years in the 80s and early 80s. Once 35 yards field goal to win it. Good. Florida State trails. They're the defending national champions, unfazed by the opposition, unaccustomed to defeat, and unrelenting at home. Their senior signal callers all grown up, once a mere marksman, now he's their field general. There's a superstar sophomore, the leading man in the Miami ground machine. And on defense, a ferocious middle linebacker with a nose for the ball carrier, but eyes for the end zone. Upstate, the Seminole Nation is still strong, though humbled by their Southern nemesis last fall, a day when their freshman quarterback took a beating. I've been waiting for this day for a whole year. It's payback time. Florida State's offense is searching for payback with a wealth of wide receivers and a bulldozer disguised as a running back, plowing over and through defenders. Will that be good enough against the defending champs today? We'll find out next. A sold-out Orange Bowl in Miami, Florida on a steamy October afternoon. It's more than just a football game. It's a rivalry with national championship implications. The top-ranked team in the land on their home turf against the 12th-ranked Seminoles of Florida State. Florida State to win. And last year, he didn't play well. Here come the defending national champs. Dorsey, quick slant, Sands has got it, first down and more. Out across the 25 to the 27-yard line. Dorsey fires, what a catch by Johnson. Wow. Just snatched it out of the air in front of Rufus Brown. First of line, then last. Gonzalez and McKinney and those guys graduated. This time, he's got it to the 40, and it's Beard. Same play they tried earlier. This time, nobody else in that territory for the Canes. Nice play fake by Dorsey. Going for the home run, got a man open, got him! Kellen Winslow, first and goal. It's a little swing, he was lined up in the backfield. There he is right there. Makes the catch over the shoulder. And a goal at the four, McGahee. And he scored it through for the touchdown. I don't know how. He's 228 pounds. Willis McGahee, not to be denied, puts his head down and plows through. 7-0 Hurricane. Down at four. Has some time, running out of it, and down he goes. It's Jamal Green. That's three wide receivers for him out of the shotgun. Over the middle, Maddox has got it, but Williams is all over him. E.J. Williams having a great start here in this first quarter. For Florida State. Second down at 10, Dorsey deep down the middle. Kellen Winslow's got it. First down, Miami after the 33-yard line. Third down at six. Dorsey quick throw. Sands makes the turn at midfield. Cuts it outside, and he's all the way to the 25-yard line. On third and seven or eight yards passing, there you go. They're going to try to play it safe, but staying home to make the stop is Andrew Williams. Yeah. So well, we'll give it to the uh, offensive coordinator. He's worked out. Where's the other? McGahee down the sideline. A nice stiff arm to get out. Where will they spot it? First down run. Freddie Capshaw to punt. Leon Washington will take a fair catch. He dropped it. Miami covered it at the 15. And Trail Roll was in the right place at the right time. You can't put it on the ground against your arch rival. Boy, and right at the 15-yard line. The end of the play. That's right there. Yeah, well, that's why the helmet came off. Anquan Bolden gave Glenn Sharp one of the chops. Now you need to know. It's been three and out. Dorsey across the middle. Winslow bobbled it, caught it a second time. Boy, that's good. Concentration. That could have been picked off. Yep. Caught four here today. 
Here's Gathers, the back up tailback, and he cuts outside. And he might have a first down. A little bit short, maybe. Marks with a first down at the third. Dorsey from the gun. Has all day to throw. Deep middle. Got it. The beard. Another first down. It looks ball came loose at the end. He was down. Field goal. Dorsey. Throws. Touchdown this time. Same target. This time it's good for a score. <laughs> Goes right back to number 81. Different play, different result. Kelly Dorsey, yeah. he's liking it. That's his 15th touchdown pass of the year. Cat, here's a run. McGahee in the open field. And Willis in the Florida State territory. Jones again. This time they're draped all over him. William Joseph, the first man to meet him. Three wide outs for Dorsey. Kenny with a quick throw and got it complete. It's been his favorite guy, Kellen Winslow. First down. Well, Kenny Dorsey making this team move. He got a lot of talent around him, but he's the loft today. Still a low delivery, but Johnson, I think, scooped this one up. He did, first down. He moved by the boards as Florida State did last year in this matchup. Across the middle. Johnson on the run. First time he's had a chance to stretch his legs. Johnson. All the way down to the 33 yard line. There's no doubt that my McGahee draw play ran into Dorsey, but now he's running into the secondary. And he's going to have a first down, I think. Second down at 10. Dorsey steps up in the pocket, fires, caught. Johnson, first and goal. They had two guys there. He and Sands were both in the neighborhood. Dorsey. Over the middle. Touchdown. Kevin Beard. The Canes aren't done yet. 26 meeting between these rivals, and it's a beauty. The timeout. The Orange Bowl got serious. The war chant started at one end. The U of M chant started on the other. Nobody has taken a seat since. And now it's down to 8-10 left. Number one, trailing number 12. He's going to run it every time against that. Jones stuffed for a loss. Sometimes the defense wins, but other times the offensive line wins. That time, the defense beat him. By Beard in the back of the end zone have not been very good to him. But two touchdowns, two interceptions, approaching 300 yards again. And keep in mind, as Bob said when we started things off, 31 and 1 as a starter. 10 and 1. Kenny Dorsey against ranked teams. He's been there before. He's not as sharp as we've seen him many times, but he's got what he needs. The football soon to be in his hands, 79 yards away from a win. That's as simple as it gets. First down. Swings it out to McGahee on a screen pass. McGahee across the 30. Down the sideline. He might go. McGahee, one man to beat. They get him, but not before he gets to the 12-yard line. the screen. Watch the screen and here it is. McFadden gets blocked. A broken tackle. He outruns one. But he's not going to outrun the last one. Huge play for Miami. And out at the 11 yard line. Gathers inside handoff. Gathers. Touchdown Miami. And can handle it all by themselves. You remember yesterday when we were talking with Dorsey and we asked him, do you remember the last loss? And he says, I remember it like it was yesterday. And then I said, do you remember the drive when you were just a youngster to come back against Florida State and throw the touchdown pass to Shockey? And he said, that seems like 20 years ago. And he also said, I don't want to leave Miami as a quarterback who was behind center, who lost to Florida State his last year. That's exactly right, Swanee. They'll need one pretty soon. They'll keep it on the ground here, though, and Jones is smothered. A huge third down and 11. Ricks down the middle. In and out and then caught, and now it's a loose ball. Fumble. Miami's got it. They call it incomplete. Looked like a catch. They say no. 
P.K. Sam bobbled it, looked like he caught it, then got whacked. Oh, a huge hit. And the Miami coaches are off the sideline saying, are you kidding me? Let's take another look. It's a great throw by Ricks. Tremendous throw. Oh, boy. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It looked like he had possession against his body. I'd agree with you, partner. Looked like he took a step before he took a shot. He doesn't know the history of the series. We do. Jerry Thomas, 34-yard field goal attempt in 91. Bobby Bowden even thought that maybe this one was good as he ran off the sideline, but it wasn't. And his team lost. Go to wide right two. Matt Munyon, or Dan Mowry rather, 39-yard field goal attempt, no good. Then in 2000, 49-yarder, wide right again for Matt Munyon. Now, Xavier Betia maybe doesn't know all that. You want to bet he doesn't know all that? <laughs> Hand off to Jones, trying to cover the ball and get more to the middle of the field. And he didn't get anything. Now Miami took time out to conserve some time in case they made the field goal. Now they got to hustle. They've got to get the spike. Miami's not getting up off the bottom of the pile. Ricks is trying to get to the line. Three seconds, two seconds. He spikes it with one second left in the game. They just barely got the playoff. And here comes the field goal unit. He's on the Groza list. These are the kind of kicks that win you the Groza trophy. This for the win for Florida State to upset Miami from 43 yards away. For the win, the kick on the way. He missed it, wide left. so many times and when it came down to dethroning a champion it was wide left sadly no one should have lost this game it looked like the snap was a little bit low take a look yeah he had a little trouble but that's all right and then the field covered with Miami fans as we head down to Lynn Swan. Well, Brad, Bob, unbelievable. Coach Larry Coker, you got a little bit of the history in this matchup yourself now. Well, uh, no doubt about it. I thought two years ago was one of the greatest games I've ever been around. I don't know if anything will ever surpass this. A great effort by Florida State. Great coaching job of their coaches. And, and uh, we didn't play as well as we needed to, but I guarantee our kids fought hard, they played hard, found a way to win in the end. Last year, your team dodged a couple of bullets against Boston College and Virginia Tech. This might be another one of those bullets. Well, this this was more of a missile. They're an awfully talented team. They, they gave us their best shot. We knew that. They played a great football game. They've got great talent, and, and it's just a, just a great win for us. Your quarterback was a little bit off today throwing the football, but on that last drive, you, he just put two plays together made it all happen well really stepped it up and and I thought we had made uh, needed to make some plays we didn't we had some foolish penalties that really kept their drives alive and give them credit they did a terrific job by running the football Tre tremendous football game coach Great congratulations thanks Lynn Brad the moral of the story don't ever invite Florida State to be your homecoming date because they might go home with somebody else but they didn't Miami survives it 28 to 27 ABC Sports is online at ESPN.com keyword ABC Sports stay tuned for more great college football Texas and Oklahoma some of you'll see Penn State and Michigan or UCLA and Oregon for Bob Greasy Lynn Swan and our ABC crew Brad Nessler from the Orange Bowl what a ball game see you next week